I'm on my way to the airport this morning. It's 9.30 and my flight board's at 10.30. So I'm a little bit late. You're supposed to be there two hours ahead, you know? And I'm never late to the airport. I'm always two hours ahead. I've never missed a flight. Even though I know I'm not gonna miss it, I can't help but be a little bit like antsy about it though. Like, okay, like I need to get there. <laughs> Vanessa's driving me. I would say that's so nice of her, but I paid her to do it. what condition she'll be left it in because she was the last one here. Um, when I left, I left it clean because I'm a cleaner person than she is. Let's see. Oh, she cleaned, not bad. I'm home and I look so bad right now. I'm gonna fix myself, hold on. Okay, this is a little bit better. I wanna rewind for a second because this morning was really quite dramatic for me for about five minutes of my life. You guys, I left my phone in the car. My sister Vanessa dropped me off at the airport. I've been a dumbass. Wise words with Vanessa. As I was getting out of the car, I was like, I should probably check to see if I had my phone in my purse, just to make sure. And then I was like, no, 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 I'm sure it's there. Why would it not be there? So I just head inside, she drives off. I go to the ticketing counter and I reach in my purse to pull out my phone to look up the confirmation code for my flight and my phone's not there. I can't feel it in there anywhere. And I was like, oh my God, what? <laughs> and I couldn't find it and I was freaking out, I started I didn't cry, but I got really teary-eyed. Not because like, oh no, my phone, but because I literally can't live without it. I mean, I can until I need to call an Uber to get somewhere. I like ran outside just to make sure she left. Yep, she left, dang it. So I came back inside. I pulled out my laptop. I got on the Wi-Fi and I have iMessage hooked up to my laptop. Vanessa just got a new number. And of course I didn't have her number in my iMessage on my computer. So I texted Shelby and I was like, Shelby, wake up, Shelby, Shelby. I was like, Shelby, call Vanessa, hurry. Shelby's asleep. So then I text my group chat. My best friends I'm like you guys someone call Vanessa I was frantic and then I looked in my purse one more time I looked in this little pocket area that I didn't even know it could fit in and I slipped my hand in there and sure enough it was in there so yeah I, I have my phone we're all good I just wanted to share that with you okay so yeah, I'm in California. I'll be here for the next five or six days, I think. Dancing through the world like I'm at the Grove now. Just gonna walk around, edit some videos. I could just to get some like I'm kind of pissed though because they don't have any outlets anywhere and I know they do it on purpose so that people like me won't work here for hours so let's see how much battery my laptop has So I was bored and have like an hour until my next meeting. So I went into Nordstrom and bought nail polish. And tried to make a cheetah print nail for my costume tomorrow. And it kind of worked. That was like one of my first videos I ever made. Also, I'm really bringing it back. I got an Uber SUV because where I was going was only two miles away so it would be a $5 trip but I had a $15 Uber credit and so obviously I got the nicer one because either way it was free. Cheers. That was so LA of us. 
your Dr. O especially. I know, but my pizza, like... I never addressed this in my vlogs, but, like, a few weeks ago, I came back to my apartment. I know, I was thinking that would have been such a funny vlog. And, like, for some reason, I was, like, very paranoid. Well, the lock on my door was, like, loose. It was, like, sketchy, weird. Mm -hmm. And I was, like, I was in my apartment, and I was so paranoid from that. I thought I heard, like, footsteps or something, and I was like, oh, my God. And I left, and, like, I would not go back inside. So I hit up Kenzie, and I <laughs> slept over at her house that night because I was scared. <laughs> she was like, where are you? What are you doing? And I was at Hillsong. And I was like, yeah, come on over. <laughs> I was literally so scared. And then the next morning, Remy came over with me with, like, pepper spray. And we walked through my apartment. And, like, it was fine. But I was scared. I'm leaving my stuff in my car. Me and Kenzie just filmed a video for her channel. And I wore eye black for it. So... You'll have to tune in and see that when it's up. I'm gonna take this off, take all my makeup off actually, and go work out. Didn't think I'd do that, but I'm actually really in the mood. And I'll probably only be in the mood for like two more minutes, so I just need to jump on that, you know? Let's go to the gym. I don't usually do these things, but I was sent a face mask in the mail, so I was like, why not try it? Why not? Apparently, it has magnets in it. I cleaned for like three hours. And uh, edited videos a little bit, and that's been my day.